Hello, praise the Lord everyone. I welcome you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ to Sunday School Online Service. Let us bow down and pray to Lord Jesus. Lord, thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you for this day, Lord. Lord, thank you for saving us whole day, Lord. Lord, help everyone to watch this video, Lord. And Lord, bless the teachers and volunteers, Lord. Lord, help us to come back to church and worship you again, Lord. Lord, please, Lord, let this this go out of the world, Lord, with your presence, Lord. And Lord, I ask this, Lord, in Jesus' holy name, we pray, Lord. Amen. Where the Spirit of the Lord is there is freedom. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Hi children, praise the Lord. I hope you all are doing good. Well, let us not forget God for giving this wonderful time. Before we start, let us close our eyes and let us pray. Father, we want to thank you for this online service. Father, we want to thank you for this precious day that you have given us, Lord Jesus. Lord, we remember you in this day. Lord, you guide us. Whatever we are about to learn today, Lord Jesus, you give us your Holy Spirit and you give, give us the strength to learn more about you, Father. Lord, whoever is watching this online service, you be with them, you teach them. I totally submit this into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, last week we learned about the Trinity. We learned about the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Today we will be learning about the fruit of the Spirit. Do you like fruit? I'm sure you do. You know there are different kinds of fruit. They look different, they feel different and they taste different, right? Bible also talks about the fruit. That is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. There are nine fruit of the Holy Spirit and out of which we will be learning about the first fruit that is love. So when it comes to love, the first person that comes into our mind is mommy, right? So whenever we are sick, she's the first person to come, you know, take care of us, give us medicine on time. And also we remember dad, you know, for his sacrifice for the family, right? So we remember our brothers and sister, you know, whenever mommy brings chocolate, they share, right? If it is one chocolate, they give us half. And something like this, you know, it is, it is driven by love in the family and when you go to school you say she's my best friend he's my best friend right because you love them you love them so much no matter what they love you in, re in return so bible tells in first uh, john chapter 4 verse 7 let us read beloved let us love one another for love is of god and everyone who loves is born of god and knows god so 
when we ask Jesus to live in us, his spirit stays with us. You know, the more we get into the word, we become more Christ-like and we become more fruitful. You know, it is the spirit alone that helps us to be more Christ-like. Day by day, whenever we read the scripture, whenever we are in the fellowship, we learn, we learn more about Christ, right? You and I don't deserve anything at all and we deserve bad alone. But yet, Christ loved you and me. He came to this earth. He died for us on that cross. He shed his blood. And that is love. That is the love of Christ for us. And in return, what we do here on this earth is, as a children of light, we love one another. We love one another in school, in church, in family, in, you know, wherever we are, wherever we go, we love others because Christ is in us. We love because we have known who God is, right? This is what the scripture says. I love him because I know who God is. If I don't love him, and I definitely don't know who God is, the only reason why I love him is because the Spirit of God is in us and the Spirit of God has enabled me to love others, right? So being the children of light, it is very important for you and for me to love one another. No matter where you are, no matter what that person has done, you know, no matter what your best friend has done, you still love him, right? Because that person has a spe special place in your heart. The same way Christ has a special place for us in his heart. Christ has a special place for us in him that we need to walk according to the scripture. We need to walk according to the light. Being the children of light, we need to love one another and we need to remember God has made us and God is perfect. If you want the fruit of the spirit in you, you need to live according to the scripture. You need to live in God. And when we live in God, the Spirit of God will help us to bear more fruit. Amen. I believe God has spoken to us. Let us close our eyes. Let us thank God. Father, we want to thank you for teaching us that it is by your Spirit alone we can love one another. Father, give us the fruit of the Spirit, Lord. Wherever we go, help us to set an example. Help me to be your child, Lord. I want to love one another. I want to show them that you live in me, Father. I totally surrender everyone who's watching this online. I want to submit them into your hand. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May my words, 1 Corinthians 13, 13. And now, abide, faith, hope, love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. The love that God has for you and me is different from the way we love people. In Greek, it's called agape. What is agape? The Greek word agape is often translated as love in New Testament. How is agape love different from other types of love? Agape love involves faithfulness, commitment and act of the will. Agape love is beautifully described in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Agape is used to describe the love of God and from God because God is love. Everything God does flows from His love. He loves the unlovable and unfavorable not because we deserve to be loved, but because it is His nature to love. God's love is displayed more clearly at the cross. God's agape love is unmerited gracious and constantly seeking the benefit of the ones he love. We are to love as Christ loves, that is agape love, which comes from him alone. 
This is the love that has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us when we become his children. Because of God's love towards us, we are able to love one another. This is agape love. For this series craft, let us make a fruit of the spirit spin wheel. To make this, you need two A4 size white paper, a round box lid, a scale, a pair of scissors, a few sketch pens, a paper pin, and a pencil. Draw a circle with the help of the lid and cut both the papers. On one circle, make nine paths as shown. Then take the other circle and cut a triangle equal to any one path. You can write fruit of the spirit on the cut paper and color it using sketch pens. Now take both of the papers and pierce it at the middle using the paper pin. You can put a small rubber cut piece on the other side as a stopper. Write the first fruit of the spirit, love, on one of the part. Your spin wheel is ready. Please do send the video of memory verse and the activity to the number displayed on the screen. Bye kids. God bless you.